Hey, Chris here. I spent the morning yesterday in the Inner Harbor, Baltimore. Beautiful site, uh, office building. They had three boardrooms full of these chairs, and every single one of them had the most common damages. When they push the chair up against the table, it gouges the arms and ink. This is just what you find when you do office work, these two damages primarily. So I had to remove the ink, clean the chairs, and then I had to fix all 24 chairs and the damages that had occurred to the arms. And this is a basic outline of the process. Uh, first, you use leather or vinyl filler, then you heat it, and when you heat it up enough, it will become a vinyl substrate, but then it also can take a grain pattern. So I used a grain pattern and pressed it into the heated repair. And then I matched the color. This was a little bit of a tricky one. You don't see this orangish color every day. And applied color, uh, which had also been cross-linked, so it was uh, a strong color. And uh, then you add a clear coat onto this. I like to rub it in. Um, as long as it's not streaky, it's going to give you a nice smooth finish that feels nice to the arm. Um, and then finally on this one, to do those repairs, you had to actually melt into the stitching pattern so you lose some of that stitch. So what I did was just do a faux stitch. Uh, I took a little bit of a darker paint and touched it up into the stitch holes so that uh, on, on uh, a glance it looked like uh, the stitches were back in place. And that was pretty much the repair. Again, I did 24 of these and really transformed the whole look of this boardroom for this uh, company in Baltimore. It was uh, a good job and I think they were really pleased with the results. Wow, you made it to the end of a video about leather furniture repair. Appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, give me a like. And if you'd like to subscribe, I do this every day. So I'll probably be posting more leather transformation videos. Have a good one.